sure they're not. I've been real involved in the uh, siting of, of renewables since about uh, 2002 and it was just a couple months after I saw my first uh, industrial you know, commercial wind farm that realized that the Flint Hills were, were being considered for uh, a lot of wind development. There were, there were multiple projects being looked at. Uh, so I wrestled with that some and uh, I remember talking to the former uh, president of the Nature Conservancy and ask him, how, how should we address this? And he, he said, a threat is a threat and should be treated as such. But, you know, treat it, treat it as a siding issue, not, not, a, not whether or not we should have renewables, but, you know, make this a siding issue. And we really did. We focused on that. And I think we've had a, a real positive influence, the Nature Conservancy, in how, we, how we've been able to help steer renewables. Um, you know, more recently, there's a lot of interest in, in solar, and, and there's, I think we're going to see a lot of, of uh, commercial-scale solar development, which is really cool, but there's, there's really good places to do it and, and other places where it, it'd be less desirable. What's resulted from that first effort, that, that first wind farm I saw, and lots of different folks from the, across the Conservancy working on this issue, was the, the creation of something that's now called Site Renewables Right. It's a mapping process where you can identify, you know, where key, key wildlife, key landscapes are at, as well as, you know, places that are in proximity to transmission lines that are feasible for that development. And, and providing, you know, the purchasers of renewable energy, the developers, developers of renewable energy, that resource. The key message here is that there is an opportunity to do renewable energy right. And by identifying areas where there's going to be less conflict, uh, it could actually accelerate the development of renewable energy. So our goal is not to be you know, a roadblock to, to the development of renewable energy. We want to see more renewable energy developed, but we want to see it done in a responsible way. And so by identifying those areas of less conflict, there's going to be less roadblocks. There's going to be fewer projects that get stalled and canceled as a result of, of siting issues. And so I think we, we can, you know, I think it's really a positive thing for renewable energy to provide that roadmap to do it in a way that has less conflict.